Okay, so I've made these crawl space drones because um, I've met many realtors who um, take, talk about how uh, a lot of times they'll see homes that are inaccessible um, underneath the crawl space. Like, it's a lot of older homes that just have a very narrow crawl space, you know, 12 inches tall, no human can fit through. Um, so I got the idea of actually having RC cars. I've gone through many renditions and, you know, uh, various cars I customize and you know of course you have your trial and errors but I came down to these two cars one's actually a tank and the other one's an actual four-wheel drive RC truck so actually I put all these camp lights on it and I actually have a ABS coupling I put on top of the camera so of course it's it's inevitable the car is gonna flip over in a crawl space it's you can't help it so what I did is I put this top on top of it so if I have to flip it back over or tie or actually pull back with a string, which I attach a string to the back of all these. So that of course if you can't get to it, well then how are you gonna be able to receive it, retrieve it? So a lot of these um so I wanna show you the car the truck first, which is pretty simple. I mean it's it took a while. I customized and painted it to match the colors of my company. Um, I'm just going to show a wet lawn just to show, for example, what it can go through. You know, so. There you go. And there's a camera. And then what this one over here is actually a very interesting concept of it. So this actually has been customized by three different uh, RC cars I put together. Um, I actually took this camera off a different RC car because the tank didn't come with one. So what I did was I actually used an adapter to go through a battery charger right here. All these lights are actually battery charged right here so I can plug it to charge the whole thing. I decided to get a tank also because I'm going to run both of them. Um, it's, yeah, it's funny. It says military police on it. I didn't realize that. So um, let me show you how this one works. Um, if you just give me a second. I'm going to put um, one second. Okay, so here we are. Let's see if I can control it with this as well. And there's a camera behind it on it as well, like the other one. So I really can just go through anything. You can see how bright the light is too. I mean, it's just flashed right there. See? I'm actually going slow. That's why the lighting is on this part. I'm able to take 40 photos in less than two minutes with these cars in the crawl space. So I want to show too, this is what the camera looks like so let me flip it around a little bit so and then I'll pull up the app and this is the camera see it's pointing over there so I actually had to take the camera off a different uh, off a different RC car so I'm actually showing and I go right there and I can take pictures, do a video, everything. So those are my two crawl space drones that I have made. You can just see how bright the light is. And I actually put both of these in there with strings behind it and I actually run both of them at the same time. I still crawl, of course, but a lot of it is just that these things can get much better, closer pictures to a lot of areas that no human can ever even think about. So there's one thing with my business is that you're never going to have to worry about me not being able to access your crawl space. So I just wanted to show it on a lawn just to show as an example of what it could do because you're not going to be able to see the car too much in the crawl space, obviously, with my camera. So um, anyways, that's the, uh, the, the final version of my crawl space drones. Thank you.